Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to make powerful automation effects using keyframes, CapCut for PC. Let's do it! Ok, keyframes allow you to change any settings of clips in the middle of the video. And it's very simple to use. Anywhere in CapCut that you see this diamond icon here, it means that you can use keyframes to automate things. Let me show you. I've got one clip here into the timeline. Ok, that's a simple clip that I'm talking and making some random tutorial. And let's say I want to change the scale from 100 to 150, from second 8 to second 12. So, I will drag my cursor to second 8, ok, I will click in the clip and I will go to scale and I will click on this diamond, add keyframe, that's it, it goes blue, it means a keyframe is added into this clip in second 8. And here we've got a little white diamond here. Ok, if I move the cursor to another place, here is the keyframe added in the second 8. Then I will advance to second 12, alright, and I will change the scale, I will type 150, enter, look what just happened. A new diamond was added here at second 12 and this diamond over here went blue as well. And let's play the clip, look from here, starting to grow from 100 to 150 and now it stopped and it's 150. Ok, but I want to do a faster transition, it's very simple, I can just drag this diamond over here to the left, to here for example, and the transition will be a lot faster. Yep, oh I can't drag from here, look, very fast. That's nice, but I don't like 150, I want 200. Ok, I will click here in this little arrow to localize the next keyframe and now the cursor is on the 150 keyframe and now it goes blue and I can change 200. Yeah. Now it will move faster, will make the transition faster because the keyframes are close to each other and will go from 100 to 200. Check it, whoop, very big now. Alright, and if you are above a keyframe, if I click here on the arrow, now I'm above a keyframe, you can click on the keyframe, on the blue keyframe to delete it. I will click it, now we don't have the transition anymore. I will press Ctrl Z to undo it and if you right click on a diamond in the timeline you can copy the keyframe or delete it. If you select delete it, it goes away <laughs> and if you select copy you can put the cursor on another place and press Ctrl V or Command V if you're using a Mac and this keyframe will be added into the timeline in the place that your cursor is in. And like I said in the beginning of the video, anywhere in CapCut that you see this diamond, you can automate it. Like for example, you can automate the position, if you go in, into the audio tab, you can automate the volume of the audio will be increasing or decreasing. In the adjustment tab, for example, you can automate the temperature, the saturation, brightness, contrast, anywhere you see this diamond, you can add a keyframe and automate Thanks. And that's it. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week. I see you.